in French when using the prepositions du or de. Let's go! Hi, English speakers wanted in French. Thank you for watching my first video. Thank you for uh, visiting my YouTube channel, Fast French Learning, and my blog, fastfrenchlearning.ch. I'm Thomas Ricoma from the blog, fastfrenchlearning.ch, to learn and improve your French. If you want to receive your free ebook, 12 Tips to Learn Language Effectively, please fill out the form, inscribe to the newsletter on my blog, fastfrenchlearning.ch. You can subscribe as well to my Facebook account, my Instagram account, and my Twitter account. And I will put the links below the video. At the end of the video, I will be very glad if you can let some comments. If you liked this video or not, it can help me for making others' video. And if you liked it, and if you think that this video can help other French learners, please share it on the social networks. Thank you very much. To know how using the prepositions du or de, we need to ask the question, what is the noun that follows? What is the noun that follows the prepositions du or de? If the noun that follows the preposition is a proper noun, we'll use the preposition de. For example, le l'ordinateur de Maxime, Maxime's computer, l'ordinateur de Maxime. Another example, le vélo de Sophie. Sophie's bike, le vélo de Sophie. If the noun that follows is a singular feminine noun that starts with a consonant, de becomes de la. Let's see some examples. Le, la maison, la maison de la femme, the house of the woman, la maison de la femme, femme, it's a singular feminine noun that starts with a consonant, the letter F. Another sentence, le toit de la maison, the roof of the house, le toit de la maison, Maison is a singular feminine noun that starts with a consonant, which is the letter M. If the noun refers to a generality, we'll use DE. For example, with the noun geography, the geography in general, if I say LE PROFESSEUR DE géographie, I'll use the preposition DE. LE PROFESSEUR DE géographie, the geography teacher. Another sentence is Une leçon de vie. A life lesson. Une leçon de vie. Vie in general. If the noun is a singular feminine or masculine noun that starts with a vowel, we'll use de plus L with an apostrophe. Le sac de l'étudiant, the bag of the student. Le sac de l'étudiante, the bag of the student. The noun étudiant or étudiante starts with the vowel E, E in French. If the noun that follows is a singular masculine noun that starts with a consonant, we'll use the, prepos the preposition du. Example, le l'ordinateur du garçon, the boy's computer, l'ordinateur du garçon. Garçon is a singular masculine noun that starts with a consonant, the letter G. Another example, je reviens du café. I'm coming, I'm, I'm coming back from the bar. Uh, café in the sentence means the place where you drink coffee, where you, where you drink uh, beers or sometimes where you can eat. Je reviens du café. Café is a singular masculine noun that begins with a consonant, the letter C. When the noun refers to a generality and when it starts with a vowel, we use the preposition de with an apostrophe. For example, le professeur d'informatique, the computer teacher, is the computer science in general. Informatique is, um, begins by a vowel, the vowel I, I in French. Another sentence is 
euh, le professeur d'orthographe, the spelling teacher, so the spelling in general. L'orthographe uh, begins with a vowel, the letter O. And when the noun is plural, we use the preposition D. For example, l'ordinateur des garçons, the boy's computer, les oreilles des éléphants, the ears of elephants. Below the article, there are exercises with the answer to train. So, good luck! Bye!